Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a Juice Motor Parts tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to change your wrist pin bearing and or bronze bushing. The following tools that you're probably going to be using are what you see right here. Highly recommended. You have a KD Tools torque wrench, we'll be using this a lot in our tutorials. Your standard traditional socket, a beak nose pliers, and a 14 or 13 inch socket, along with a mallet. A screwdriver could come in handy. So let's take your attention over to my stand over here. And we're going to check out exactly what we're going to be doing. So first off, um, if you got to build one of these, you know, very simple. Uh, just some welding and then some base uh, bolting some things down to the side over here, four bolt patterns. Fairly simple. But just contact me if you really want any detailed plans. So what we have here is your traditional uh, motorized bicycle engine. What we're going to do first is remove the carb. There's usually a Phillips uh, bolt over here that you can remove. So just take that off and I'll put these bad boys to the side. You're not going to be using it. Next up, what you're going to have, uh, what you're going to see here, in fact, are a four bolt pattern on top. If you can see those. In some, some engines, they're M8, and some engines, they're M6, but the principle is the same. You just unbolt them. Now, I like to be careful when I unbolt these. Um, they're already unbolted, but when you do unbolt them, you want to be real easy, right? So, on, uh, on my section on high performance, uh, high performance tips, I mentioned a four bolt torque pattern. You want to, you know, loosen over here first, then you, then you go in a zigzag so that you can uh, evenly distribute all the torque. That's really important because you don't want head warpage. You don't want to bend or break anything because these engines go under some serious pressure. You want to make sure everything lines up perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these just for the sake of simplicity. Put these bolts in a good spot. After you remove, after you remove the bolts, you can uh, go ahead and remove that head. What you're going to expose now are the following things. Y you can put the head aside. You're going to see a head gasket made of aluminum. And last but not least, your jug should be unbolted. You want to pull up the jug nice and easy. Then you flip it out. There. That's your piston there. And that's where we're going to be doing most of our work. What we have there is the wrist pin bearing. Or the wrist pin. That's what connects the, the connecting rod to the piston. An easy way to remove this is, on the inside there's going to be something called an E-clip e or E-ring. Lots of different uh, places refer to it differently. What you want to do is you want to use your uh, beak nose pliers, stick it on in there, and then just rotate it out. Sometimes it gets a little tricky, but you want to try to rotate. I'm doing counterclockwise. That's the direction of the protrusion. That suck is a bit hard. Now you want to do this for both sides. So, what you should have exposed here is uh, the E-ring sh should be aside, and then next you want to take your screwdriver, shove it on the inside, and you can push it or tap it with the mallet. Sometimes it gives a bit of resistance. What can be helpful is if you get a piece of old cloth, you can sort of put it around the piston, just just to protect it. If you decide to uh, to give it a little hit. Get that nice in there. Yeah, cover, cover everything up. Right, you put these aside. You can remove things. And then right after, your piston should actually just kind of fall right out of place. Then you take it off. These are the things that I have exposed. There's a the piston, there's the wrist pin. 
put these to the side ne next to your uh, Eclipse. Now, just to give you a little close up on what's going on there. Right now, that upper connecting rod is kind of hiding in those between those bolts, but located inside the connecting rod here is your wrist pin. Traditionally, the, the uh, HTs or the bicycle engines don't really come with great quality wrist pin bearings, which is why I highly recommend that you change these if you want to do even the smallest modification, or even if you just want a good running engine. Highly recommend changing these out. This is uh, from the stock engine. So you can either do one of two things. You can put in a better high quality wrist pin bearing or you can put a, uh, a high performance bronze bushing located at JuiceMotorParts.com and um, each process is basically the same way. What you want to do first <coughs> is insert it, whatever you're going to use. In this case we're going to use the bronze bushing. Now this, this becomes a tricky part. Um, sometimes people get these a bit mix, mixed up. So usually on top of your piston, there's going to be a little arrow. If you can see it here, it's right there. The arrow should be pointing in the direction of the exhaust port. That's really important. So we're going to put that on top. <coughs> and this is going to take a little finesse. We're going to be doing the same thing over again. We're going to be taking our wrist pin. We're going to be shoving it in there making sure things align up properly. You want to just rotate a little bit, make sure there's no uh, any kind of resistance, any kind of play. However, they should, it should be able to move side to side, so that's fine. Uh, next, you want to take your Eclipse and you want to put them back in. I should have mentioned this in the first part, but um, for those of you new at doing this, what you should do is maybe put some, that, use that same cloth to cover the crankcase area because it can be a complete disaster or not a disaster but it'll just be a pain in the ass in the event of that e-clip falling down inside that crankcase so just for safety's sake kind of just stuff it there so you can save yourself all the extra hassle next you want to install your e-clip Make sure you hear that click noise, because that means that they're properly seated within the groove. Then you want to turn around and do the same for the side, or go on the other side, whichever your setup is. At this point, it probably helps if you were to put a few drops of uh, two-stroke oil. This is just your traditional uh, Dino, Dino two-stroke oil, whatever it's called. You, know, you just get a few. You know, you just get some in your finger. Just rub along the bearing. P put a few drops of oil in there. After you're done, it's time to put the jug back on. Exhaust port goes down and you want to be able to compress these rings. I'll give you a better close-up on what that is exactly. So, there's an example of one ring right there. Right here. You want to make sure the rings line up with the pins on the piston. That's really important. Or as you can break your piston rings. So there's two of them. There's one on the opposite side. Make sure they line up perfectly. Once they do, squeeze them like so with your hands. Slide on the jug. Once you're pissing, both rings get inside. It's as easy as one, two, three. You just drop them down. Clean, wash out your head gasket. This engine is an experimental one, so it's pretty clean. Usually there's a lot of carbon buildup. So, so it's probably good to just get, get rid of that around the rings or wipe that off, blow it off if you have an air assist system of some kind. Throw on your head gasket, throw on your head, throw on washers and or lock rings, preferably both actually, and then uh, screw on all of your nuts. 
And then after you, after you screw on your nuts, you want to first hand tighten them with your, uh, with your socket wrench. The same cross crisscross pattern. Now when you finally line up and you, and you get everything down to a relatively, uh, relatively tight torque, you want to follow that off with your torque wrench. For the torque specifications, uh, I have them listed at the Juice Motor Part website under the high performance tips, so give that a check out. <clears throat> Alright guys, so for more information on high performance tips or changing any, any parts that you could be otherwise confused with, check out the Juice Motor Parts website, high performance tips section. Have a nice day guys, thanks for your time. And remember, as always, get juiced.